Okay, folks. Well, let's see. We were talking about human computer interaction and we got into talking just a little bit about GUIs. And so I want to take a look at adding a graphical user interface to our bash scripts. And we're going to take a quick and dirty approach to this using Xenity. So Xenity is a program that you can actually run from the command line in bash. And essentially it just pops up different kinds of tools for you to use um, depending on what kind of thing you ask it for. So you can ask Xenity to pop up a, a file browser. So it'll let you browse your file system and pick a file or pick a directory or something like that. Or you can ask it to pop up a text box to get the user to enter something. Or to pop up a radio box to get the user to pick from a bunch of different options. Or to pop up a calendar and get the user to pick a date. So you basically call Xenity and pass it a bunch of command line arguments telling it what kind of a thing to pop up on the screen. So, you can call Xenity from any of your bash scripts, right, just like you can call any other program, and it can then pop up something, and whatever it selects, so whether the user selects a date, or whether they select a file, or a whole bunch of files, or whether they enter some text, whatever it is that the user picks through that pop-up gets returned to the bash script by Xenity as a string. So essentially Xenity prints out the string and then we'll capture it in Bash. So this is what we're going to try and do. We'll just play with a, a couple of little Bash scripts to go through. And let's say we'll uh, um, call Xenity, pass it the right arguments. We'll put the dollar brackets around it to capture the output. And then we'll store that in a variable that we can process later in the script. So we'll try this once just from the command line first just to... Uh, see how we go here. So what we've got here is an example of calling Xenity, right? So we're calling Xenity and then we're saying I want you to pop up one of your calendar pop-ups to let somebody pick a date. I'm going to specify what title to put on the top, bleh, what title to put on the pop-up, what kind of text to display for the user. So again there's a whole bunch of different options you can pick based on what kind of a pop-up you ask Xenity to display. So Xenity is going to pop this thing up, the user can interact with it, and then Xenity actually just, again, prints out the, the result, which we're capturing here and storing in our variable result, and then we'll just print it out. So we're going to capture what Xenity displays and then print out the results. So we'll give this a try. It's going to be dreadfully slow because I'm SSH'd into Otter at the moment, and so it's going, it has to be able to pop up the window on my machine, but it's running through water, and so again, it's going to be brutally slow, but we'll give it a try. So we'll sit here and we'll wait, and we'll wait, and we'll wait, and eventually, oops, sorry, I've got two monitors going here, and it just popped it up on the other one. Let me just drag it over. Yep. Ah, come on, work with me. There we go. So it just popped that up. So, uh, Again, you can see that it's got, well, actually, if we expand it a little bit here, it pops up a little calendar chooser. It tells me to, you know, whatever my message was, pick a day, and it gives me a little message here to click one. So you can customize the, the window to a degree. And, you know, presumably the user goes through and picks Friday the 13th. Why not? And that gets, actually gets output by Xenity captured by our little bash command here, stuck in the variable result, and then we're displaying it, and hey, it actually got the date correct. So it picked up the 13th of 2020, whatever. So from your bash, from the bash command line, if you want to, you can pop up windows like this, or we can put it in a bash script. So somewhere here, I believe it was in try zen. It did essentially just the exact same thing where we've got a little bash script here where we print out a message beforehand, we call Xenity, get it to pop up a calendar window, and we'll print out whatever the user picked after it runs. So let's give that a whirl, and it should be pretty much the same idea. So we get our message from the script, and now it's trying to open our little window here, and again, it pops it up on the wrong monitor, but there we are. Um, so again, pops up the window, we pick something, I don't know, let's pick the 8th this time. And again, that result gets cap returned to the script, captured, and 
we spew it out afterwards. So you can have your bash scripts produce different kinds of pop-ups using Xenity as the tool to do so. All right, so again, it's relatively straightforward. It's just sort of ugly passing these collections of command line arguments to, uh, to Xenity. So you can pop up a file chooser if you like to get the user to browse and pick files or directories or whatever it might be. So again, it's just you're running Xenity. File selection is the kind of item you want to pop up. And again, you pick appropriate options, you know, maybe whatever you want your title to be, whatever you want the... Um, you can specify a default file, for instance. You can specify the text that you want to display for the user. And so it's the exact same idea. It'll pop up a, a thing to browse through your fi files and pick one. Um, this is just essentially the same example we did a second ago where it's going off and picking a date. And again, you can tell it, okay, well, here's the date I want you to use by default, right, if the user doesn't pick anything. So you can go through and put together, you know, little uh, GUIs for your bash scripts now if you want. Um, it's a, a little clunky in that you don't have sort of one interface for your script that the user's interacting with. What you've got is your script is running, and as it runs, it pops up different things that it wants the user to interact with over time. So you can still do your regular, you know, standard input and standard output, as you've seen. We just did a bunch of uh, echoes and whatnot from uh, from inside our bash. So you can use printfs or whatever it might be. But uh, again, it's not the most fluid or consistent interface. But if you want your bash script to be able to do something like, say, pick a file, and you don't want to have to go through and error check whatever it is they happen to type in as a file name, you can do something like this. Say, okay, well, you know, generate a pop-up that only lets them pick from files they can actually get to. Or if you want them to pick a date, instead of getting them to type it in and then doing all the parsing to make sure that it was actually a valid date, you go through and say, okay, well, let's pop up a, a date picker, a calendar, and let them pick it. And we know that whatever comes back is actually a valid date. So it does give you a way to play with a bit of GUI in, in the way of GUI interfaces for Bash. So Bash and Xenity is our first one. In the next session, we'll get into using GTK with C++ and see where we can go there.